afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I hope everybody is having a great and wonderful Sunday afternoon. Uh, I'm going to start reading in the New Testament, starting in Matthew, on these Sunday messages. And we're going to read all the way through the New Testament. And uh, each video should be about 10 minutes long. And I'm going to give a little bit of... Uh, information or my thoughts as we go so let's get started we're in the gospel according to saint matthew in the king james version chapter one now the first part of the chapter is the generations from abraham to david are 14 generations and from david until carrying away into babylon are 14 generations and from the carrying away into babylon unto christ are 14 generations that's in verse 17 of the first chapter. Now, I'm not going to go through all the bagats. Y'all can go back and read all of that if you want to. But verse 16 says, And Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations. And from David to until the carrying away into Babylon are 14 generations. And from the carrying away of Babylon into the Christ are 14 generations. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being just a man, and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. But while he thought on these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take thee, Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her uh, is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. And now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord, by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel which is being interpreted God with us then Jesus being raised from the sleep did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him sorry then Joseph being raised from his sleep did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him and took unto him his wife and he knew her not until she had brought forth her firstborn son and he called his name Jesus chapter 2. Now y'all are going to get some mistakes from me. I mean this is real time. I'm sitting right this minute. I am in Memphis getting loaded at the Yeti plant. So uh, you will get some mistakes. You will get some background noise but this is just what I feel led to do and by golly we gonna, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Alright. Chapter 2. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came, a, came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. Where Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people, Israel. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men in, he inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared, and he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go 
and search diligently for the young child. And when you have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they were coming to the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. And when they were departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared unto Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt. And be thou there until I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. And when he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt. And was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt have I called my son. And Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceedingly wroth, and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem, and in all the coast thereof, from two years old and under, until, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet, saying, in Ramah was there a voice heard, lamentation and weeping and great mourning. Rachel weeping for her children and would not be comforted because they are not. But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother and go into the land of Israel. For they are dead which sought the young child's life. And he arose and took the young child and his mother and came into the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus did reign in Judea, in the room of his father Herod was a, of his father Herod, he was afraid to go thither, notwithstanding being warned of God in a dream, he turned aside into parts of Galilee. And he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophets, he shall be called a Nazarene. That's a lot to take in. It's two chapters. I enjoyed reading it. It was pretty cool. Can't imagine how those parents felt when their own king came, killed their children can't imagine what it feels like when your own people turn against you to that level. I thank God that we live in a republic, a nation of laws, and not a nation of mob rule, and not a nation of a dictator or a king. We live in a republic, and I thank God to be in the republic of the United States of America. It is a blessing to be able to wake up in freedom. Now, do we have problems? Yes, we have problems. But we do live in one of the greatest countries in the world. We can preach and prophesy and teach freely. We all need to take advantage of that. Look forward to next week. We'll continue with chapter 3. I'll try to get 3 and 4 done. God bless you more than you could even imagine and i'll catch you on the next ride